the way she'd like to finish, but she's won plenty of fans this week, Danielle Kang. 73, eight under for the tournament, tie for fourth as Jane was mentioning, and now this for Sunday perfection. A par on the last to finish with 64. Not enough can be said really about the way that she has handled her emotions, handled her game, the tough stretch of four par fours to finish. Everyone else has struggled by her. Oh, just carried a little much speed for that line. It will be a late blemish. Doesn't matter. But it will be of little consequence. What a beautiful, beautiful round of golf. Certainly the last hole doesn't matter really. No one's going to remember that when she's hoisting the trophy. For the first time since the first ever Australian Open, it's Japan's title with Haru Nomura. A breakthrough win on the LPGA Tour. A 65 on the Sunday. Clearly the best round of the day. And what camaraderie from Lydia Ko, who's three back in second. The first to congratulate the 23-year-old. <laughs> now some of the local finest going down the back shirt. Of Namura. Well, she started the year so well. Tied for 13th at both the uh, Florida and Bahamas events. Huge hug from Jason McDeed, her caddy, who's been with her for eight months. One of the greatest feelings in sport to leave the 72nd hole of a big tournament. Knowing you've just got to dot your I's and cross your T's in the scoring tent and then walk back out to the green to receive the plaudits of the crowd, to receive the Patricia Bridges Bowl, emulating the feats of her countrywoman Chaka Higuchi in 1974 to become just the second player from her country to win Australia's national championship in this prestigious leg of the LPGA Tour. Stay with us for the presentation. The trophy about to go to Haru Namura of Japan. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Quentin Hull and Jane Crafter, look at that. Who would have picked that on Thursday? Well, no one. Uh, you certainly would have picked Lydia Ko and perhaps mm. Kari Webb, Charlie Hull, but Haru Namura, the young 23-year-old from Japan, no one would ever have picked her and a phenomenal shot her her birdie on the 17th was absolutely extraordinary the 18th perhaps not quite as smooth but uh, you can almost understand that the excitement of those final moments oh absolutely i mean uh, it really doesn't matter that she bogeyed the last mm -hmm. hole no one is going to remember that it was just an exceptional round of golf on these final four holes to have had three birdies 15 16 17 that really sealed the deal well, and when you've got the world number one just in front of you and you can hear the cheers and the uh, the groans of, of the crowd following her and, and incredible, and of course, she had a very vocal crowd following her, uh, the partner in her group, Danielle it's Kang. Kang. <laughs> the Kang gang. <laughs> Which was wonderful and Danielle probably disappointed with the way she finished. Oh, I'm sure she was. Uh, you know, she wanted to become outright third and then in the end, uh, just ca that putt just carried way too much speed. So a disappointment for Danielle, I feel for her. I know Kari Webb would have been disappointed. Mm. She just couldn't really get anything going in the back part of that front nine, nor in the first part of the back nine. And then really as um, a young Namura started to hit her stride, she was just far too far behind. No, indeed. And when you've got the, uh, the ultimate winner putting like this, Jane, we're going to have a look at some of these birdie parts and they're absolutely extraordinary. She just, nerves of steel. Oh, and, and she crazy. was so calm. <laughs> absolutely. I, I was very, very impressed. So birdie at 15. 
Yeah, and this putt was a big uh, downhill putt with some break from right to left. I mean, it never looked like missing. <laughs> it's just absolutely tremendous. And she hit laser beam shots. I mean, she never left the flag. This, and this one was, just took my breath away, yes. Jack. <laughs> well, this one was extraordinary. I mean, this was easily in three putt territory. But it uh, just broke to perfection. Well, and, and she knew. Her final one. She knew. She knew she, she had knew it that. in the bag. Does that sort of? Uh, do you then relax and the, the foot's off the pedal? Absolutely. And it really doesn't matter uh, what you do as long as you have, uh, you know, not a quadruple, quintuplicate bogey. Just brilliant stuff. <laughs> Where's the champagne, girls? Come on, stop right. this water stuff. <laughs> exactly, and I think that was the fastest we saw her move all tournament, uh, jumping so. around to avoid Lydia Ko, but she's about to be presented with the Patricia Bridges Bowl. Let's go and join Kate Burton on the 18th green. Well, well I'm, I'm delighted to welcome our prize presentation party to behind the 18th green. We have John Hopkins, who is the chairman of Golf Australia, the Honourable Jay Weatherall, who's the Premier of South Australia, and representing ISPS and Dr. Handa Midori Miyazaka, and our champion in 2016, Haru Namura. Haru, you must be delighted to finally win on the LPGA. Oh, I'm so exciting now. Oh, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, this interview. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, you didn't show any sign at all of nerves out on the golf course, and to fend off Lydia Ko and Kari Webb, a great win. Yeah, oh, today shot really good, and Potter, wow, unbelievable Potter. <laughs> and I want to make a uh, clear nobody, but Lasso make a bogey, but win. It was a win indeed. It was a round to finish on 16 under par. And if I could ask, please, John Hopkins from Golf Australia to present a beautiful bottle of Grange wine to our champion. Thank you very much indeed, John. And there is more, Haru. We also have a check to be presented by the Honourable Jay Weatherall for 195,000 US dollars. The first winner of the Australian Open was Chaco Higuchi, and she won 10,000 US dollars. And now, Midori Miyazaki, please would you step forward and present the Patricia Bridges Bowl to the ISPS Handa Women's Australian Champion for 2016, Haru Namura. Well, an absolutely wonderful moment for Haru Namura, the 2016 winner of the Australian Open and Jane a moment she will never forget and undoubtedly become a lot more accustomed to winning speeches. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, scintillating round of golf today under extreme pressure and uh, it was very good done, very well done, well done. Yeah, they're super indeed and we look forward now as we turn our attention to the Gold Coast and look forward to seeing all of you at Royal Pines next weekend. But for now, from me, from Jane Crafter, Sandra McKenzie, Kate Burton, Quentin Hull and the whole dedicated broadcast team here at the Grange Golf Club in Adelaide, thanks for your company. We'll see you soon.